Hey guys, I don't know if you noticed, but I just put back in my dreads. So for those of you followers of mine who haven't seen my dreads, here they are, they're back in, and I'm actually really, really happy about them, like I'm stoked. I didn't plan to put them back in, I just sat one day and started dreading my hair, and here they are, so here we are. Anyway, <clears throat> that's not the point of my video. The point of my video today is about popping your locks and why you should pop your locks. I usually refer to this as separating your locks or your dreads, whatever you want to call them. Um, and what it is, is you just take your hair and separate, separate it. The reason this is done, and I'm going to show you how I do it here in just a minute. The reason this is done is that if you just let your hair go, like you just dread your hair, set it and forget it. Um, in a couple months, most likely, you're going to have several areas of roots on your head that are just kind of all matted together in a clump. And this is a pretty common on the back of people's heads because people don't, like, feel around the back of their head or give a shit about it or look at it so they don't care. Like, I always forget I have this tattoo because it's on the back of my arm and I can't see it. So, people tend to neglect certain areas of their head or just not take care of their dreads at all physically. And washing them, great, but a lot of people just don't separate them. And if you don't, you get big mats. It applies to pretty much all hair types. Um, correct me if I'm wrong, but it happens to everyone. Even if you're doing the neglect method, you need to separate your locks. Like this is the bare minimum, washing and separating. Bare minimum maintenance for everyone with locked hair. And I'm going to show you how I do it. So I just, like you can just take your fingers and run them through your hair and every now and then you'll catch a snag and you just pull it. So, ouch. See, I've got a little hair here. I snapped it. And any little single strands of hair between your dreads, you're just going to snap them. And it's just important to do because otherwise they're going to start growing together. Um, and even on the back of your head, even though you can't see it, you want to feel it. You want to just feel and make sure every dread is separate. You feel around the dread and make sure it's not eating into its neighbor dreads. So it helps if you twist the root a little bit, um, but you just feel every single one. Make sure they're separate from their neighbors. Because if they're not, they do, they can, and they will probably grow together. So, oh, I got another snags. Yeah, so the pop your locks probably comes from the sound of popping, which happens when you snap a strand of hair or two. And you just, you just literally spend two minutes a day ow, 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 just doing this. That's all. It's really easy, and this little tiny effort can go a really long way in keeping you from having a lot of massive locks growing together or areas on your head that you don't want growing together from becoming a giant mat of hair with like dreads protruding from it. That is really difficult to take care of. It's really difficult to untangle and it's so easy to prevent it if you just go through every day. Make sure on the front of your head you can see your parts clearly, like you can see mine really clearly. I can lift my locks up. You see the parts really nicely. And that's generally what you should see. You should be able to pull it and see your part. So yeah, that's my bare minimum, bottom level maintenance you should be doing for your locks. Separating, washing once or twice a week. It's the law. It's the law, people. Yeah, so thank you for watching. I hope you enjoy watching whatever happens to my dreads next because I have no idea what I'm going to do with my hair color, if I'm going to extend them or what. So, we'll see. Have a good one, guys. Bye-bye. Thanks for watching.